Dude, I got like the biggest headache right now. So what are you gonna do when all this is over? Man, honestly, I could picture- Dude, I could just picture myself right now, laying down, feet in the air, with a couple of brewskis, watching a couple of things through tactical videos. <laughs> Man, Psh, that's it? Dude, Charlie's gonna pay us big bucks. After what's about to go down, I'm going to Mexico. I hear ya. I'm going to MIA for a minute. Oh, shit. contact, contact! It's not ideal to pay thousands of dollars to attend an opera, not knowing that eventually, halfway into the play, a group of Russian gangsters come blasting their way into the scene with Big D energy doing mobster work while popping the conductor in the back. Although this video could have easily been about the sexy Norinko Type 56 underfolder that had my attention the minute I laid my eyes on it, this video was about another typical item that was also from the movie Tenet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grim Reaper has returned. But let's just say you've already beat the game in advanced mode, so now you've unlocked the prototype skin which also comes with a couple goodies as well. One goodie in particular is an upgraded gas mask. I mean, this is what this video is about, right? We can't use the words nuclear and emergency in the title without bringing out some sort of system built to keep you alive in the worst conditions known to mankind. The Mira Safety Nuclear Gas Mask Kit is the number one key element to prepping 101 when building your foundation for global contamination. Oh, and also weird time traveling concepts and inversions where apparently fake cyanide pills are a thing. But this is only in movies, so kids, Please don't try this at home. Now I know what you're thinking, that I finally moved on from the Avon S10 gas mask because I found out that Capcom isn't doing an RE4 remake this year, though that could be a valid argument. Imagine the thought of putting on a 25 year old gas mask in the middle of a radioactive environment, then all of a sudden the rubber seals around the lens randomly rip. I can only imagine that the effect would kind of look like the scene in The Walking Dead where Negan bashes Glenn's face in and his eyes come bursting out of his skull. Now I'm not exactly sure if the end results will conclude you to look like the lizard in Rango, but I don't think I'd want to risk it either. Besides, who doesn't like a brand new gas mask with an IMAX movie field of view and a guaranteed 20 year shelf life? I guess this is the part where I properly present to you the essential justifications as to why sometimes make-believe fantasies and cool cosplay art doesn't cut it when it's time to actually crunch down when that spooky air raid siren goes off. The CM6M gas mask is the ultimate dual filter respirator with motion picture graphics built to put CGI to shame when out on the battlegrounds. Okay, not really, but it is the ultimate modification to your bug out bag when EMP strikes become the number one trending topic. Compliant under all standards for impact protection, and you might have to start calling the CM6M the AK of the gas mask world. Its ruggedness is top tiered when compared to other respirators, which would make sense when you realize that its origins come from the Czech Republic. They're also known for making extremely reliable pistols, i.e. the CZP-10 that I've been fanboying for about a year now. For all you minimalist backpackers like myself who like to cram 100 items in a 10x12 inch transit sling but forget to pack the number one source that will keep you alive for most of your journey, the CM6M gas mask has a built-in hydration system that's compatible with Camelback water bladders using a Type-M adapter. 
This is a plus if you live in muggy environments that have mental problems on deciding whether it wants to give you frostbite one day, then by 6pm you have third degree burns on the back of your neck. This should also probably clear up the confusion as to why I dress like this on a daily basis, but my role model is Snake from Metal Gear, so I guess they go hand in hand. A water canteen is also included in the kit that can quickly attach to the hydration system on the side of the 6M. If you're in search of a new respirator, making the transition from an odor gas mask, odds are you are most likely using a common NATO filter cartridge. The CM6M raises the standards with the option to connect to 40mm NATO cartridges. And then there's that saying, a gas mask is as good as its filter. Well, the NBC 77 SOF cartridge is the do-it-all filter that provides maximum protection when being compared to others on the market. AKA, this is what you'll be deploying when your biggest fears come to your reality. Don't believe me? You should check out Mira Safety's data sheet to find out what the filter can fight off. Blood agents, nerve agents, mustard gas, hydrogen sulfide. Remember those cyanide pills I mentioned earlier? Yeah, and that was just to name a few. You can multiply the runtime by adding a second filter on the opposite side of the gas mask depending on the severity of the setting. Mira Safety also has a couple of filter options to match your personal preference as well. They have budget-friendly options that will benefit most, especially in times like this. But my favorite filter has to be the VK450 cartridge, which can turn your respirator into a fire-breathing Charizard in seconds depending on how fast you can tighten those back straps. This carbon monoxide filter allows you to overcome smoke particles in the toughest conditions, but more importantly, it gives you the protection to breathe clean air in a limited amount of time to fight off whatever task is at hand. For pricing and more information on each filter, you can find some links in the description. Other additional items in the gas mask kit include potassium iodine tablets which can be used for thyroid blocking in a radiation emergency. You also get a tactical drop leg pouch which can hold the gas mask and all of the other components stated in this video. I find this to be extremely beneficial because you don't have to worry about creating additional space in your bug out bag to add these items, not to mention. You also have a quick access because, for all we know, you might only have 60 seconds before you turn into one of those mutating hosts that run like the ones in the movie 28 Days Later. The good news is that if you are interested in picking up one of these kits, I have some discount codes in the description. You can also find additional information on the CM6M gas mask linked down in the description as well. Until then, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. To watch more content like this in the future, click the subscribe button. To get instant updates for the latest Pew Pew content, click the bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.